Hi, I'm Frank, and thanks for tuning in to RC Foam Fighters. As you can see, I've got my Sky Fighter version 3 about 95% done. Um, I was kind of antsy to get this plane out and do a test flight as I was up till 4 o'clock in the morning on Saturday getting it to this point. Um, we did get a chance to get out to Herman Airport and do the maiden flight. Before I want to show you that, though, I want to just go ahead and give you a quick look at how the rest of the build went. Okay guys, now it's off to Herman Airport to see how the maiden flight went. Okay guys, we're out at the field. Frank just uh, did a wattmeter test on his Skyfighter um, version 3. And what is it pulling, Frank? It's it looks pulling like pulling 117.69 amps. amps and 2462 on the watts. Okay, yeah, you're going to have to be uh, very careful with the throttle because that's actually a little higher than what this uh, speed controller can handle. But uh, I think he's getting ready to fly it and we'll see what happens. Alright guys, here goes the maiden flight of the new uh, Skyfighter version 3. Hopefully this works without smoking AC because it's pulling a lot of amps and watts. That sounds funky. It's whistling too, man. Yeah. I was gonna say you got a little more high pitch whistle, but it's rolling. Are you rolling? You're rolling to the right real bad. Yeah. Yeah, you got a whistle on there. getting torque roll or what? I think so, man. Three-headed dragon when he's flying or Rodan maybe? Sounds like a jet. I'm hoping that you got the Doppler yeah, on Yeah, the Doppler one's on. Are you getting any readings on the radar gun? No. It's too high, man. Yeah. Where did you go? Man, this thing's squirrely, man. Touchy, damn, my eyes are water. Oh, damn. damn, that thing's touchy, man. <laughs> it's, it's not like your plane, man. dude. This thing just freaking yeah. rolls, man. Well, that's the uh, way down. I really think that thrust plate really helps stabilize that supernova. 
Now, no, I, I have the problem though, with this one is the roll. Man. Yeah, I have no torque roll on the Supernova. This it's not the torque roll, man. It's just the control. Hey. I don't know what that was. But you hear it echoing off the building. Up there. Knife edge, man, without even trying. <laughs> if I can keep it low enough. Thanks. You get anything? Probably want to bring it in before you get too low and have it drop out. Oh. Yeah, I got battery cut out. Uh oh, did you? Either that or something died. <laughs> Alright, everybody, clear the area. Gliding pretty good. Pick it up speed. Oh, 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 on the runway. <laughs> oh, okay. That was awesome. Frank, what do you think? Man, <laughs> I gotta get used to this plane again. I forgot how touchy this thing is. For these kind of speeds, man, the roll is just mad, and I have the rates turned down pretty low. Pretty low. To fly it a few more times, get used to it. Is overall flight characteristics similar it's to the smaller close version? To the original small version, it's just super touchy on the roll, and I just got to finish getting it all dialed in as far. As, I think the CG is pretty close though. Okay. Cool. All right. Hey everybody, I was pretty happy with the way the maiden flights went of the new Skyfighter V3. I was able to get it into the air and uh, get it pretty close to dialed in right off the bat. I will be doing more testing of the plane as I didn't get a chance to do any radar clocks on this one just yet. Um, I was in for a bit of a surprise though when I did do the static test out in the field. It was quite a bit higher than what I was getting when I was in the house. Um, it might have had to do with the difference in the speed controllers that I had. That first test was actually with the Turnigy 100 amp speed controller and the timing settings are a little bit different than this uh, Hobby King ESC and but it's pulling a lot more watts and amps now it's pulling pretty close to 2500 watts at about 116 amps so I may have to prop down or try and figure something out to get the amps down a little bit more and the watts too because that's a bit much for the motor as it did cause a little bit of problems with it after I landed I noticed that the motor is making kind of a funny noise now that I, when I'm turning it so I don't know if it killed the bearings or something. I will be taking it apart and taking a closer look at it and before I get out there and flying it again. I'd like to give a special thanks out there to Greg, RC Foam Fighter's New York connection, for giving me the idea of uh, scaling up the Sky Fighter and making the version 3 with the 1600 watt motor. Uh, he's working on a similar project. He's going to be calling his the Sky Fighter Extreme. It's going to be built with a 15 millimeter wing instead of the 30 millimeter wing that I have on this plane. And he'll be having the same power setup except for he'll be running a 5 cell on his. Greg told me that he's almost ready to do his maiden flights with his plane, so please keep an eye out on his site for that as well. As I said, it's a RC Foam Fighters New York connection. I'll put a link in the video sidebar to Greg's site so you guys can check that out when he gets it up. Thanks for watching RC Foam Fighters, and I'll see you guys again soon.